Hello, my name is Ryan Burnett, and this is my speech for my informative speech number two for speech class for Roger State University. These are my audience members tonight. Angie Burnett. Jennifer Richmond. Kelly Gabbard. All right, I'm going to start with just a simple question. How many of you guys know what the internet is? Yes. How many of you use it? Never. Yes. Everybody, right? <laughs> you use it on your phones, laptops, at school, at work, at restaurants, airports, virtually wherever you go. The internet's a big thing. Everybody knows what the internet is. The one thing that people wanted to see using the internet is a way to communicate. You can search for jobs, you can search for restaurants, you can search for movies. Why can't you talk to people all over the world? So with that question being asked, social media was basically born. It is estimated that 1.3 billion people on the planet use the internet. And of those people, as of July of 2012, America alone spent 74 billion minutes, minutes on social media websites. Now, where this all started, I'm just going to give you a little brief history. It all started in 1985. A company that we all may, have rem may remember, known as America Online, was born. Everybody knows the famous America Online motto, hello, wait for it, you've got mail. Usually took that long. With America Online, it was a brand new world of technology. You could email, you could go into chat rooms, you could IM, which is instant message, and you could, people would spend hours and hours and hours talking to people all over the world. For days and days and days. A lot of connections were made. People loved America Online. America Online was a driving force in the internet for so long that it actually gave birth, some say, to websites like Google, which is the most popular search engine on the internet, and Wikipedia. Now, according to Dana Boyd and Nicole Ellison, they are the authors of Social Networking Sites Definition History and scholarship. They say that in order for a social media website to be effective, you need these three things. Construct a public or semi-public profile. Number two, articulate a list of users, of other users with whom they are connected. And number three, the ability to view the list of these connections and those made by others in the system. MySpace, Facebook, and Twitter use these things. So we're going to go down the line. Let's start with MySpace. MySpace is considered by many as the pioneer of social media. It was created in 2003 with MySpace. You have your basic profile page. Users can go on there. They almost like they're creating their own web page. You have any kind of design that you can create if you want to. You can put pictures on there. You can have your friends list. You can add movies, music. You can even create surveys about yourself, about your personality, if you want somebody to know a little bit more about you. And it also implemented a new chat function as well. So you could talk to people if they were online with MySpace at the same time that you're online. You guys can talk. That's what this online little logo meant. If you saw that, you could connect to that person and say, hey, what are you doing? How, how, how are things going? Now, the one after that is one of the, one of the most popular ones. This is Facebook. Facebook was created by a young kid at Harvard. And the purpose that he created that was just to, for a little social media to, to use at his school. As of today, Facebook has 900 billion users. With Facebook, it's a little similar to MySpace, but it has many more features. You have a friends list that you can create, your own list of people that you want to talk to. One of the most popular, uh, uh, um, one of the most popular features of Facebook is the wall. With the wall, you can go in there and you can post little status updates about yourself. On the wall, people can, if 
you have a sick kid, you want to post a little status update about how your kid's feeling because people are concerned, or say you get on the wall and, and you have a job interview, and you get on the wall and you want to post how that job interview went. You say, hey, congratulations, I got this job, I know everybody was hoping for me and I got the job. And this is where comments will come in, people will comment on that post and usually congratulations on the job. The next cool thing that this thing will do is you can do um, check-ins. Check-ins come really in handy for people who want to see what others are doing. So say you and a friend are going to a movie and you have another friend out of town who wants to join you. So you're going to check in at the movie theater where you're at and if that person does not know where that movie theater is, and when you check in, it creates a hyperlink it says where you are, and that person can actually click on that link and see a map of where you're at. It's kind of a cool way to communicate. In addition to that, you now have party invites you can do on Facebook. Gone are the days where you would fill out a little envelope with the time the, start, the, the party started and when it ended, and you were asked to RSVP. Now, it's simply made just on the wall where people can say, are you going or are you not going? Another thing that Facebook does, and this is huge, Facebook is actually promoting businesses all over the United States, in fact, the world. Businesses can get on there, promote their product, promote their store, they can post pictures of their store, they can even get coupons. A lot of you Facebook users can actually get coupons for different products by the, by the business that posted that. And another cool feature that Facebook does is, is it promotes education. Teachers can create groups within Facebook for their students. They can go in, they can do updates about homework and things like that. The next one I want to talk about is Twitter. Twitter is, basic, is a basic form of Facebook and MySpace. It was created in 2006. It uses basically microblogging, so it's like texting on your phone, but you text onto the website. So there's no friends list, there's no big wall, it's basically just giving you detail, little, little bitty tweet, what they call tweets, little bitty bits of information. The reason that tweets and Twitter in itself is so popular is because people around the world share this with actors and actresses, they share this with athletes from all over the world, even the President of the United States uses Twitter. So you can kind of see cool little updates. As of 2013, it's estimated that over 500 million users use Twitter. And there are approximately 340 million tweets delivered daily. And the final one I want to talk about are dating sites. Now, Match.com, eHarmony.com, these are some of the social media websites that you don't get on there to socialize and post information and status updates and what movie you're going to. People are actually finding their spouses, their long lost soulmates, through websites like Match.com. 54 million people to this day use these types of sites. According to eHarmony, which is one of the most popular ones, 4.77% of the people that they matched on these websites ended up in marriage. According to Match.com, 17% of couples that met in the last three years have all met online. So Match.com, you can go, you can create a profile about yourself, tell, talk about your personality, and sites like these will go out and they will find someone based upon those series of questions that you've asked about yourself and see if they can find a personality that matches you. Now the biggest thing is the revenue that these, these companies are creating. Facebook, $118 million a year. Twitter, $71 million a year. And these are just two of the most popular ones. As the internet continues to evolve, social media is going to grow. There are a million social media websites. The 
social media has brought an extreme amount of popularity to the internet. People are connecting online, people are finding their mates online, people are getting coupons online, even finding jobs. So social media is a thing of the future. So remember, the next time you sit down at your computer and you log into Facebook, the one thing I want you to remember is you are one in 300 million that is spending six billion minutes sitting on a computer social networking. So I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and have a great night.